In today's video, we're going to walk through how to prepare and start up the Questech Solutions MagnaTrack gauge. I'm Owais Arshad, the product manager here at Questech Solutions, and we will go through this process together step by step. First, let's answer some frequently asked questions. Flags do not rotate with level gauge. Test flags with magnet from top to bottom, magnet not included. If flags test okay, check float for obstructions. Flags rotate at different height than actual level. Float selected for different specific gravity. Replace float with a float with correct specific gravity rating. Confirm correctness of float orientation. Top is up. Float inside the level gauge is moving slow or not at all. Make sure the MLI is level vertically. The process fluid being measured may be too viscous and heat tracing may be required to make the material more fluid. Heat tracing can be purchased from the factory. The specific gravity of the process fluid and float weight may need to be re-verified. The liquid being measured may contain magnetic particles collecting on the magnetic section of the float causing drag. If this happens, a magnetic trap assembly can be purchased from the factory. Visual inspection of the float may be required to see if the float has collapsed. Transmitter pre-mounted on the unit needs calibration. No, the transmitter is configured and tested at the factory with the intent that only power needs to be connected to the transmitter in field. The original approval process, when ordered, would have determined the zero and 100%. Transmitter shipped separate from the MLI needs calibration. No, at the time of the order for the transmitter, we would require the serial number of the magnet track that the transmitter is to be mounted on. Questech then configures the transmitter at our factory to match and correlate with the specified range of the magnet track. The transmitter sensor is marked with the calibrated 0 and 100% points and shipped with mounting clamps. When installing the transmitter, simply align 0 and 100% points of the transmitter with the visible range of the magnet track. Switch does not actuate with level change. Check the micro switch or read switch for continuity. Replace if damaged. If OK, remove switch from piping column and test switch magnet assembly with realignment magnet by moving magnet over the housing face. If the switch magnet assembly fails to respond, replace the switch. If the switch tests OK, check float travel. Scale is at zero to the center of the bottom process connection, but the indicator is above or below zero. The scale assembly is mounted to the chamber using stainless steel gear clamps. It can easily be adjusted in the field using a screwdriver or nut driver. Make sure scale zero is in line with the center of the process connection. Make sure top or bottom float stop springs are not bent or broken. We hope these FAQs help answer some of the questions you may have about MagnaTrack products. Next, we will cover installation hot topics and how to start up your MagnaTrack gauge. MagnaTrack installation. To install your MagnaTrack, perform the steps described. Step one, unpack and inspect each unit upon receipt. The float is removed from the MagnaTrack and packed in a protective tube that is temporarily attached behind the indicator scale for shipment. The float should remain in this protective tube until it will be installed inside the MLI chamber. Step two, the MLI must be installed vertically and level. Step three, Block valves are recommended to be installed between process vessel and the MLI. Step 4. Composition gaskets are supplied for the access flanges. If composition gaskets are not suitable for your process connection, appropriate gaskets should be used. Check tag and serial number of float to assure correct match. Step 5. Install float. Be sure to remove the instruction tag and to clean off any foreign matter, especially metal particles that may have become attracted to the magnet assembly inside the float. The top of the float is marked and must be installed toward the top of the MLI. Magnet track operation. Let's put the MLI in service. Step one, check that the operating conditions are within the rating of the MLI. Each magnet track has a permanent nameplate engraved with the rating and the process conditions. Step two, check to see that all vent and drain valves and plugs, if applicable, are securely closed. Flag indication, black equals vapor space, yellow equals liquid space. All flags should be in the black position. Alternate color flag indication, white equals vapor space, red equals liquid space. All flags should be in the white position. 
Step 3. Slowly open the upper isolation valve. Upper isolation valve must be opened first to equalize the pressure between the chamber and the tank vessel. Step 4. Slowly open the lower isolation valve. The float will rise with the liquid level in the chamber. The magnet assembly is positioned in the float so that it will ride at the surface of the liquid or at the interface between two liquids when specified. Flags will turn yellow with the liquid level. If you have any questions, visit us at www.qtslevel.com or contact your channel partner to order your engineered solution designed with care by Questec Solutions. This video is not a substitution for the IOM. The IOM must be reviewed prior to installation and startup.